Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Ali Math Clock. So my dear student, today our question is if n to the power 18 is equal to 216 to the power n, then find the value of n. So student, in this video I will tell you how to find the value of n from this exponential equation. So my dear student, our given exponential equation is n to the power 18 is equal to 216 to the power n. So student, to find the value of n from this exponential equation, so first of all, we have to write 216 into exponential form. Okay student, so that's why on the left hand side, again we have to write n to the power 18 is equal to on the right hand side in the place of 216 we have to write 6 to the power 3 ok student so student if you convert 216 into exponential form so we have to write in here 6 to the power 3 in the place of 216 and in the place of power again we have to write n ok student so my dear student, again we have to write n to the power 18 on the left hand side of this equation and is equal to on the right hand side to simplify this exponential form. So we have to apply this formula on right side. Okay, a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n. So this formula we have to apply on right side. Okay student, so that's why you can write in here 6 to the power 3 into n that means 3n ok student so my dear student to find the value of n from this exponential equation so we have to take power 1 by 3 on both side ok so we can write on left hand side n to the power 18 whole to the power 1 by 3 is equal to on the right hand side we have to write in here 6 to the power 3n whole to the power 1 by 3. So my dear student, taking the power 1 by 3 on both sides, then we get this type of term. Okay student. So after that my dear student, again we have to apply this formula on both sides. Okay. So on the left hand side, we have to write in here, n to the power 18 into 1 by 3 is equal to, on the right hand side, we have to write in here, 6 to the power 3n into 1 by 3 ok student so my dear student if you divide 18 by 3 then you get 6 ok so 3 6 are 18 so we have to write in here 6 ok and we have to cancel 3 from numerator and denominator so my dear student after that on the left hand side you have to write in here n to the power 6 is equal to on the right hand side you have to write in here 6 to the power n ok student so my dear student after that to find the value of n from this exponential equation so again we have to take power 1 by 6 n on both side ok so that's why on the left hand side we have to write in here n to the power 6 whole to the power 1 by 6 n is equal to on the right hand side we have to write 6 to the power n whole to the power 1 by 6 n ok student so my dear student again we have to apply this formula so on the left hand side we have to write n to the power 6 into 1 by 6 n ok and on the right hand side we have to write 6 to the power n into 1 by 6 n ok so my dear student we can cancel the digit 6 from numerator and denominator and on the right hand side again we have to cancel n from numerator and denominator ok so my dear student after that we have to write in here so after that my dear student on the left hand side we have to write n to the power 1 by n is equal to on the right hand side you have to write 6 to the power 1 by 6 ok student so my dear student 
to find the value of n from this exponential equation so that's why again we have to take power minus 1 on both side okay student so on the left hand side you have to write n to the power 1 by n whole to the power minus 1 is equal to 6 to the power 1 by 6 whole to the power minus 1 okay student so my dear student again we have to apply this formula on both side okay so we can write on the left hand side n to the power 1 by n into minus 1 is equal to on the right hand side we have to write 6 to the power 1 by 6 into minus 1 okay student so my dear student after that we have to write on the left hand side n to the power minus 1 by n and right hand side we have to write 6 to the power minus 1 by 6 ok student so my dear student after that we have to arrange this algebraic expression in the form of a to the power a is equal to b to the power b then we are able to find the value of n from this algebraic expression so student so my dear student from this algebraic equation we can write on the left hand side n to the power minus 1 into 1 by n on the left hand side and right hand side we can write 6 to the power minus 1 into 1 by 6 ok student so my dear student we have to apply this formula ok a to the power a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n so this formula we have to apply on this algebraic expression so we can write on the left hand side n to the power minus 1 whole to the power 1 by n ok is equal to on the right hand side we can write 6 to the power minus 1 to the power 1 by 6 ok student so my dear student a to the power minus n that means 1 by a to the power n this is our formula so this formula we have to apply on both sides ok so after that we can we have to write in here 1 by n whole to the power 1 by n is equal to 1 by 6 whole to the power 1 by 6 ok student so my dear student so my dear student to find the value of n from this exponential equation so we have to apply this formula a to the power a is equal to b to the power b implies that a is equal to b so we have to apply this formula on this algebraic expression so we can write in here 1 by n is equal to 1 by 6 ok student 1 by n is equal to 1 by 6 ok so we can write from this equation the value of n will be 6 if you apply the cross multiplication rule then we get the value of n is equal to 6 so this is our final answer so my dear student our answer is complete if you like this video and if you like this trick, so please support me and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.